Rose Corporation's Pasadena, California manufacturing facility, the new Burroughs B6500 electronic data processing system approaches completion. By early summer, this system will take its place beside a B5500 in the Burroughs World Headquarters computer facility in Detroit. Before year's end, B6500s will be installed in financial institutions, in commercial manufacturers, in state governments, and in universities across the country. This film is a status report, not an explanation of characteristics, speeds, capacities. Rather, we want you to know where the B6500 stands today, how we got to this point, and introduce you to some of the people who made it possible. On the test stand in Pasadena, more often than not, the B6500 looks like a sleeping giant. Yes, the control panel lights flicker, tapes spin and cards are read, circuits are checked, communication is established. But other than the constant hum of air conditioning and electric motors 24 hours a day, seven days a week, the working of the computer is generally unseen. Its efficiency undetected. But within the naked frame of the B6500 and within the offices and cubicles surrounding it, much is being accomplished. Because the B6500 is not the product of one man's imagination. Rather, it's the product of small groups of dedicated hardware designers, software programmers, manufacturing specialists, electronics engineers, and sales development specialists brought together in concert to develop this truly evolutionary computer system. The software of the B6500 will take the best of demonstrated Burroughs concepts to enhance the efficiency of the system. Its master control program is built upon the experience gained with the time-proven master control program found, for example, in Burroughs B5500 all over the world. Burroughs Master Control Program is one of the most significant reasons for the smooth functioning, multi-programming, multi-processing power and balanced utilization of hardware in this system. To prove the acceptance of software developments for the B6500, simulation techniques are employed on Pasadena's B5500 each step of the way. The B6500 Master Control Program is read from magnetic tape to simulated disk, from simulated disk to simulated memory. This B5500 simulation means that the hardcore portion of the B6500's Master Control Program has run through all the operators or commands contained within the design of the B6500. EOJ, or end of job, indicates successful initialization. The B6500 Master Control Program is ready to accept tasks. Thus, when preliminary acceptance programs have been successfully run on the B6500, the Master Control Program can be loaded with predictable acceptance and initialization. Burroughs software techniques reflect our accent on compiler-oriented hardware. All software, including compilers and the MCP, are written in compiler language, not machine language. They are written in the familiar ALGOL and ESPOL, the executive system problem-oriented language. All programming is thus self-documenting. Ideas are easily expressed resulting in compatibility between compilers, utility programs, and the operating system. Four tightly knit groups handle all software writing and implementation. A compiler group, a consolidated programming system group, a data management and communications group, and a support group providing documentation and training. Bob Creech manages the B6500 and B5500 programming systems department. Ben Dent manages the B6500 section. In the key hardware design areas of the B6500 system, the same equation holds true. Close communication, 
through small groups of men, large in experience. Irv Hauck, for example, was loaned to the B-5000 hardware group at the end of 1960. He now heads the B-6500, B-5500 hardware engineering department. All B-6500 section or department managers have a minimum of six years' experience, ranging to more than ten years of Burroughs' EDP system development and manufacture. This longevity means to the Burroughs B6500 customer that the collective experience of talented, resourceful men and women goes into each and every circuit, each and every card in every program. Even though here on the number one system, modifications to the core memory stacks may be necessary, and simulation may show that changes are necessary to operating programs, Burroughs design automation specifications require immediate manufacturing documentation and change, immediate programming documentation and change. We are not simply hardwiring a prototype B6500. All changes are reflected in the logical equation book and the manufacturing documents. Thus, a design change, once tested and proven, is made permanent. System number one is a production unit. System number one is thus a manufactured B6500 system. Just as system number five and 14 and 130 will be manufactured. The B6500 is a product of software innovation married to and inseparable from hardware innovation. This is the total systems approach. Under the direction of Doug Keelty, B6500 program manager, software and hardware are designed and implemented simultaneously, each dependent on the function and form of the other. Through this fusion of knowledge and resourcefulness, tried and proven in the Burroughs 500 Systems family of computers, come the B6500's unique results. Standardized system software. Compiler-oriented hardware. Dynamic resource allocation. Floating I.O. channels. The dual processor concept. Self-managing systems. A trip through Burroughs Pasadena facility fortifies belief in the results of the total systems approach and design automation. Why? because systems two, three, four, five, six, and seven are being made ready right behind system one. Because the Pasadena facility is already producing B6500 components on a production run basis. All manufacture begins with an engineer expressing a design through flow charting, which ultimately results in a series of logical equations Burroughs design automation process fully implements the design by splitting it into two paths. The first, the manufacture of circuit cards, really begins with specifications being translated into manufacturable artwork. Then from artwork to the card itself. To the etched card are added the integrated circuit chips and discrete circuit resistors, transistors, and diodes. The flow soldering process fixes all components in place. The circuits are then tested to pre-programmed specifications triggered by the indexing of the part number. Fully tested circuits go either into stores or are routed directly for insertion into a backplane of a B6500. Design automation segmentation provides a second path for the full accomplishment of the engineer's design. The instructions for wire wrapping a backplane which interconnects the terminal points of the circuit cards. From the designer's logical equations and computerized design automation comes a deck of cards describing for the wire wrap machine the beginning, routing, and terminus point for each wire. The operation is completely automatic. This 
tedious and complex task performed by a very sophisticated machine thus eliminates errors and provides a saving of thousands of man hours per computer. Within the Pasadena facility, as well as at Westlake Village, 45 miles away, the manufacturing, testing, and shipping of the all-important computer peripheral devices takes place on a mass production basis. No more important peripheral exists than the exclusive Burroughs head per track disk file. The acceptance of the Burroughs disk file concept can easily be measured through the growth in production facilities at Pasadena, Westlake, and the recently announced Mission Viejo manufacturing facility. The increased demand for disc means that in 1969, Burroughs will produce more than two and a half times the number of disc files manufactured last year. By 1971, disc production will be in excess of eight and a half times the 1968 total. Burroughs' commitment to the full spectrum of electronic data processing may take on greater significance by this fact. Burroughs announced or opened nine new manufacturing facilities during 1968. Of these nine, seven will be directly involved in the manufacture or assembly of EDP products. While the highly sophisticated disk file production facilities are being completed at Westlake, it is completely operational in the hand assembly and testing operations, so necessary in the quality production of the disk file, as well as freestanding magnetic tape units and the Burroughs tape quad. As with expanded manufacturing capability, the B6500 story, and indeed the story of Burroughs itself, is an ever-changing status report of growth. Growth by virtue of people, their innovations, designs, talents, skills, and competence, and the interweaving of markedly different talents and skills for a single purpose and result. And the Burroughs story, the B6500 story, is a status report of inanimate objects. Circuit cards, solder, wire, lights, keys, cards, tape, letters and numbers. Inanimate objects made meaningful by competent people for a single purpose and result. This is the B6500 in Pasadena.